Why hello there everyone, welcome back, I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and today we are going to be learning how to make the fishing spots from Battle Royale. Now you've probably seen some tutorials on this certain topic, but I'm going to try and make mine more realistic than ever. So you want to just make sure you watch it very carefully, because I've been getting comments on other tutorials saying they can't get it to work and all that. And I've checked the tutorial and everything, and it works 100% perfectly fine. So it's just because you're not watching it um, properly. But anyway, why don't you like and subscribe the video after that um, for an apology. Um, and also like and subscribe because it helps the algorithm out, helps me out. And um, yeah, so as you see, um, I've actually got the pink backlink. Don't know how I got it, didn't even bring it up, I had it. But um, I've got this little lake here, and hopefully the lighting's okay. I tried to make it not too bright, not too dark, and ignore that mess. That's for something else. So first two, the two things you're going to need is indeed the item spawner, and you're also going to need the particle. And the particle, if you go into galleries here and do particle, is in this. Not it's in this one, right here, the circular one. I'll just show you the settings that I changed out to make it look like this. There's the settings. Pause it if you need to. But that's the settings that I'm going to be using for it today. And then in here there's um, a harpoon gun. Nothing really needed to worry about that. But we're going to need to get two of these. If you want to make it so you can fish anywhere, you're going to want to have two of these at least. So, um, you know, one will be a fishing spot, one will be not a fishing spot. So let's make this one here the fishing spot one. So um, say so went to consumables, and you don't really want to get a small fry out of one of these. You're gonna want maybe get like a flopper here, and maybe a slurp fish. So we'll get a few slurp fish. Okay. Now right, what you want to do next is you want to put these in individually. So we're gonna do bap bap bap. Hopefully it doesn't put them together. We'll just do them individually for now. There might be one or two there that I've done together. Okay, maybe it's not going to add those ones in for some reason. Okay. There, we'll do these ones just like so. We'll get them to the slurp fish, or not slurp fish, the floppers. Put them inside and get them sucked in. Alright. And then, you know, like, usually from these you get a nice wee weapon as well, so you just, just add one, I would say, one to do of whatever weapon you want in the thing, and then literally just drop them inside there. So, there's the one really there, then you want to go into settings, items respawn, yeah, no, yeah, random spawns, Random Visible during game off. All right time between first spawn I'm gonna just put that all the way down instant time between spawns that would be handy, but I Don't think anybody she will show you the next item um, When item picked up so that there's one there I'm gonna be able to turn these off. So when you pick it up, it will indeed turn off it's going to be quite cool. And we're going to make it so you can like take two to three fish out of it before you can take one fish out of it. So um, there's not much more yet to check in here. Uh, item visibility, we don't want that on. But you can't put it on, but I'm sure it'll be invisible. New World Game Start. Continuously spawn items. Off. That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's all you have to change. Now, I just want to check. Seriously, did I? Right, random spawn. Random. No. And instant. And. Come on. Go down, merch. Thank you. Instant. Alright. So, I think that's really all I changed. And I can't remember. You're going to have to 
watch the first bit. But anyway, um, what I was going to check was, do we have any channels? No, we don't. Okay. So, to do this, you're going to want to make it so when I picked up transmit on channel 1, then what you're going to need as well is you're actually going to need a trigger. There it is, a nice, sweet, helpful trigger. Alright, and we're going to put this here. And trigger when receiving from 1, when triggered, transmit on channel 2. And, um, times can trigger infinite, trigger every two times. Okay, so you're gonna have to change these for every single one that you do. So like, if you do another one, it'll have to be three, and that'll have to be four. You understand it, right? Uh, Good. Okay. But um, yeah, once you get those done, you want to place that on top of there. But you want to make it so this is a bit closer to it. So you're probably gonna to want to put grid snap off a wee bit more. All right. You know, you could even make the thing under it the item spawner. Maybe a wee bit bigger. And that would just make it so you have a bigger range of getting it. It'll be a bigger, better shape. And um, you also need to make it so the particle will disable on channel 2 as well. So we're going to select that and we're going to select that. And we're going to put that, say, right there. And we're going to get ourselves a wee path up. Can I build? Thank you. So we're going to build ourselves a little thing here. Alright. So there's a walking thing. And um, we're going to get rid of that spawn pad. And we'll place a spawn pad here. It's just so I can spawn pad you closer. Okay. Start. Don't laugh at me. Okay, we're going to do a spare one here. What was that weird noise? It's those. Oh, I've never heard them make that before. Okay. Um, that, um, and you know what else you could do? You could probably put a trigger down that triggers an item grantor, and the item grantor gives you a random item. Yeah, man. Run over, pick up, sure. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? And you know, just to make it so you can't see the items when they drop, make the water taller, you know? Doesn't hurt to do that. Okay. So let's just place this here. And we're going to place it there. Let's just try that there out, shall we? Alright, so just ignore that bit, that monstrosity. So there's a thing there. If I can catch the item. So there is an item in there. Right, so there is there. It's literally right at the top, so it is a wee bit funky, guys, but you will get it eventually. And as you heard, that there went off. And another item should spawn, yep. So a flopper spawned that time, but just make sure you put it under far enough so players can't see it. But we take that, turns off, and you won't be able to fish anymore. So there you go, guys. That there is how you make your sauce a nice sweet fishing spot. And that's how you make a monstrosity. Like and subscribe. Bye bye. I'm cleaning this up now.